Hi, I'm Emily and this is Wanda. Let's go. I have a Mercedes Sprinter 2007 long wheelbase. I've been in the van on and off since February this year because it's only been built since February this year. I've always wanted to be in a van. Ever since I was in high school, when I was about 15, I made the decision that I wanted to be in a camper van traveling around the UK and Europe. And at, I think I was 22 when I bought this van. So now it's actually happening. When I was a kid, I just used to camp in tents and a caravan once, but I didn't like a caravan. I don't know why, because there's not much difference between a van and a caravan, but I prefer a van over one that can't be moved with you all the time. I'm very lucky that my boss is also a van lifer. So it all ties in with me as well because he knows that I like to be in my van. So I can work remotely and go into like the office, which is a pub. <laughs> yeah, so the other bonus is, is I travel for work sometimes. So it ties in nicely because I can just get on the boat in the van, go to work, stay where I am and then come back and finish the day and don't have to go back to a house or keep going backwards and forwards. I currently have a house that I can live in and I do live in when I um, have very, very long days at work, but I prefer being in the van and I have no plans of getting rid of it. I'd rather be in the van over the house because it's freedom. I can be wherever I want to be, when I want to be and exactly how I want to be. Um, I built the van myself. I started building the van in February 2022 and finished it in October 2022. My favourite part of the build was like building the bed and the sofa because it was really easy just to framework. The bit I hated the most was the electrics because I hate soldering and I don't like following a diagram because I can't do what I want. <laughs> it has to be done properly. If I could do something again I'd redo the kitchen just to be a bit different, but it does work, it's functional. And like my favourite part of the van is obviously the shower, because it's just luxury. So when I'm not working from the van, I cook, watch films, play cards by myself, because it's really sad. Go swimming, paddleboard, kayak, go for walks, just generally chill. It's just nice to be in peace sometimes. That's the reason I love van life, because I can park anywhere I want to be, paddleboard wherever I want, kayak wherever I want, walk wherever I want, and not be too far from everything that I need when I come back. I really do love living in the van, but um, I suppose if I had to pick like one thing that I don't like, it would be the negative stigma that comes with being in the van because people always assume the worst or like you're going to leave a mess or you're just there to cause problems when that's really not the reality. Everywhere I go I don't leave a single trace that I've been. I try and clear up other people's messes if they've left one because just because one person can't be clean doesn't mean it should ruin it for the rest of us. Hopefully one day everyone will be clean and tidy and it will mean that people can wild camp and be a bit more free than what we currently are. Uh, I get asked all the time if I find it scary being on my own in the van, but the truth is no. I take precautions to make sure I'm safe. In my opinion, it's no different to being on a house on your own because people can still get in your house as easy if they really wanted to. I've got dead bolts on all my doors. I've got blackout curtains so no one can see in. I've got locks on all the windows and the skylights. I've got an app where my parents can see my location at all times, they can even see the route I drove. A certain group of friends, I'll let them know where I'm parking for the night just in case I want to come and say hello or they know where I am. I never ever post where I am at the time when whatever you see on social media is always a day or so late so that no one knows where I am. So my next plan for the van after I put the diesel heater in, because it's getting a bit cold not to have one now, the next plan is to do seven months around the UK, starting obviously off the Isle of Wight and going down to Cornwall and up and round, 
and then going across to Europe to see how long I can do over there before my money runs out and have to come back for work. Advice for starting van life. Be prepared to fix everything because everything breaks from, I've just literally just super glued my gear stick back on because I snapped the top of the gear stick off coming over the bumps. <laughs> I've just super glued it. Um, and just be prepared that nothing is as simple as it looks. When you think a job's gonna take you an hour, don't think it's gonna take you an hour. Give yourself six because sometimes things don't go to plan, but it is so worth it because you get something well, that's yours that you can be wherever you want to be with and it's like a home on wheels.